question 31, let's take a look at another binomial expansion. But example 4 is more complicated than example 3, um, even though the, the exponent is less, right? Instead of having something to the eighth, we only have something cubed. But the reason it's more convoluted is that we don't just have x and y anymore. We have 2x and technically negative 5y. Because if I wanted to, I could rewrite this as 2x plus negative 5y cubed. Right, so this is our x, it's now been changed to 2x, and this is our y, it's now been changed to negative 5y, and we're going to have to adjust the binomial theorem to fit in this 2x and this negative 5y. All right, so let's start to expand this. All right, so here we go. When you want to use the binomial theorem to expand, take your, your exponent here, and we're going to do our first coefficient will be 3 choose 0. All right, and instead of just doing x cubed, we're going to do in parentheses 2x quantity cubed, okay? And instead of just doing y to the 0, we're going to do negative 5y raised to the 0. All right, so we're changing up our binomial expansion to incorporate the fact that we have a 2x here and a negative 5y here. So we're cubing all of the 2x and we're raising all of negative 5y to the 0. We're going to add to that our next term. Well, our binomial coefficient is 3, choose 1. Now the powers of 2x will descend, so we will have 2x squared, and the powers of negative 5y will ascend, and we will get negative 5y raised to the first. Now take note that these exponents are adding to 3. 3 plus 0 is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3, and it should always match that exponent here. All right, let's get to our next term. We're going to have 3, choose 2. All right, the powers on 2x are going to descend, so we're going to have 2x raised to the first power. The power on negative 5y is going to ascend, so we're going to have negative 5y squared. And we're getting close, all right, close to the end here. So let's go ahead and add our last term in. We're going to have 3 choose 3, all right, and when I do 3 choose 3, the power on 2x is going to descend to the 0 power, and the power on negative 5y is going to ascend something cubed. All right, so let's just take a step back and see where we've gone. When I'm expanding this binomial, I use the binomial coefficients 3 choose 0, 3 choose 1, 3 choose 2, 3 choose 3. The powers on 2x descend 3, 2, 1, 0. The powers on negative 5y ascend 0, 1, 2, 3. And now it's a matter of simplifying all of this. All right, we looked at these binomial coefficients back in example two. We know three choose zero is one, three choose one is three, three, one, right? We had that pattern, one, three, three, one. And if you don't remember doing it, let me pull this back over so that we can remember, right? We had one, three, three, one. So we've done these binomial coefficients before. So instead of plugging them into my calculator, I'm just gonna reference that for right now. Okay, so let me get that out of the way. Here we go. So this is going to be 1. Now 2x cubed, all right, we have to expand, or excuse me, we have to distribute the cubing not just to the x but to the 2 as well. So 2 cubed is 8, and x cubed is x cubed. And if you're not sure why I'm getting the 8, I want you to think this would have been 2x times 2x times 2x. So 2 times 2 times 2 would have been 8, and x times x times x would have been x cubed. Now I'm just going to write that as 8x cubed. Negative 5y to the 0, well anything raised to the 0 is 1. And I'll simplify that a little bit more in just a bit. Alright, so here we knew this coefficient was 3. Alright, 2x squared, well 2 squared is 4. x squared is x squared. And then I have times negative 5y. All right, and again, I'm going to simplify that in a bit. I'm going to add to it my next term. 3 choose 3, excuse me, 3 choose 2 is 3. All right, 2x to the first power is 2x. Negative 5y squared, well, let's be careful. Negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. y squared is y squared. All right, I'm going to add to it my next term. 3 choose 3 is 1. 2x raised to the 0 is 1. Negative 5y cubed, well, we want to distribute the, the exponent. So negative 5 cubed is negative 125. 
and then y cubed is y cubed. All right, and I'm gonna clean this up. But in terms of distributing exponents, you distribute exponents to parentheses when the, the terms in the parentheses are multiplied or divided. So because this is 2x, I distribute the cubing to the 2 and to the 3. And to give you a contrasting example, that you can't distribute the cubing here because of the subtraction sign. So because this is a binomial, because there's addition, well, technically subtraction in this parentheses, I can't distribute the cubing. But when it's either multiplication or division inside those parentheses, you can distribute the cubing. All right, let's clean this up. So I've got 8x cubed here. All right, um, 3 times 4 is 12. 12 times negative 5 is negative 60. And I've got x squared y. All right, let's do this. Um, I'm going to do it this way. 2 times 25 is 50. 50 times 3 is 150. And I've got x, y squared. Um, 1 times 1 times negative 125, we've got negative 125 y cubed. All right, so now that I'm at the end of this, it's always good to just check that your powers are working. So the powers of x went 3, 2, 1, 0. That's great. The powers of y went 0, 1, 2, 3. Also great. Another thing that's popping up is I have a subtraction sign here, which will force my terms to be alternating. And, and they are alternating. I went from positive to negative to positive to negative. So all of those things are working, which are just great indications that I got the correct answer. All right, so when we flip the page, we're gonna talk about a little trick, a little, a little shortcut for these binomial coefficients so that you're not always plugging three choose zero, three choose one, three choose two, or three choose three into your calculator. And this technique that we're gonna pick up would have been especially helpful way back here on example three because it took us a while to plug all of these binomial coefficients into our calculator. So I'm gonna show you a little, a little trick, a little hack that gets you to these numbers of 1, 8, 27, 56, 70, so on and so forth a little bit faster. All right, I'll see you in a few, gang. Bye.